As always, don't forget to check the video description down below for the best prices on tools and parts for this video. So today, we're working on my 2007 Toyota Prius. This is my work vehicle. And the hybrid battery, you can replace the cells, and they call it like playing whack-a-mole. You just like, it's, I think it's got 28 cells, and you replace the cells pretty frequently. I know this video's been, been done before, so I wanna add to YouTube. I wanna try and make this like one of the quickest videos out there. Just get through it real quick, not a lot of talking. So with all that said, let's get to it. Okay guys, we already have the first seat removed right here, but I'm gonna show you everything you need to know. Again, we'll make it real quick. So first, you're gonna pop this bottom seat. Pop, pop, and then you'll be able to pull this out and just kind of move this out of your way. And then, on this side and this side, you got a button. You're gonna push your button and then pull this forward. And then we got like two 14s, one, two. On your other seat, you'll have three, four. So you're just gonna zap, 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 zap. And then you'll just be able to pick this guy up and take him out of your way. And now we'll work on this back. Okay, so now we're gonna take these things. You gotta twist these things. I'm just gonna boom and then a lot of this stuff I'm just gonna pop it off and throw this off to the side we're gonna pick this up then this piece it just pops pop pop and now this is your battery next thing we're gonna work on this cover this cover and the safety plug Okay, so now we're going to take this piece off right here, and I'm pretty sure all this just pops off. And, oh, we got an electrical connector right there. Be careful not to tear it up like I almost did. So you're just going to squeeze. And... As you can see, I really care about all this trim material. All right, now we're gonna take this off. It's a bunch of 14s. So, oh, no, it's a bunch of 12s. Here. All right, tell me when. Yeah, go. Okay. So we also got a bolt here and here, if you want to bring in the camera. Right there, and right here. This electric impact is going to help a lot because we have a plethora of bolts. You'll see what I mean when we start to take this battery apart. Oh, Milwaukee, 3 8 Ratchet, amazing, M12. Check it out, video description below. So I'm just gonna take this off. And now, almost, almost exposed over here. This stuff, is, if I hadn't already said this, is this still going? Mm -hmm. If I hadn't already said this, is really important when we pull this orange plug because this is dangerous. So now I think it's 10 millimeters. We're gonna grab that, pull this part off. Okay, so now. <laughs> these guys right here and be very careful because those I believe you got live leads over there so you got a nut a nut now be super super careful take this piece off okay guys and I was thinking, I've done other Priuses and there's a plug right here that was actually kind of dangerous. So don't do what I did because there's two live wires right here. 
I got gloves on now just in case. But come get this good. Basically on the side, you're gonna lift up, up, and then pull down, and then this plug comes out. So I was thinking there's on other Priuses it goes in that way, and you I was thinking this was covering it, but anyways, that's it. So definitely make sure you get that off, and then we'll be able to take this off. Ta-da. And those those are live wires right there. We unplug them. So I don't believe they're they're live. I'm gonna double check with the D bomb real quick, just so I know I'm working safe over here, and we'll check that here in a second. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect the wires. It's like two eights. And again, y'all, this is like probably the most dangerous thing you can do to a car. So be really, 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 really careful. Make sure you cross your T's, dot your I's. And I'm wearing gloves too. It's not a bad idea to wear gloves. I think they sell like electrical rated gloves that protect you. These probably are not that, but it's better than nothing. So now I'm just going to pull this up, up and out of the way. And now we will be able to remove the rest of it and we're gonna go ahead all around the battery you got like one there one there we'll go around them, and then we'll be able to pull the battery out here you gotta disconnect this stuff too all right so now we're just gonna pop we're gonna pop this side out too this comes out just gonna do the same thing just kind of set this out of the way and let's start right here oh that's a flow y'all this isn't the first time i've done this one so there may be less bolts than normal but you'll be able to you'll be able to fill it out hey come come and check these two bolts right here so i just took a bolt out there and a bolt there and we're almost out you gotta take this piece out right here. It pops and wiggles out. And I'm pretty sure that was supposed to go to something. That's fine though, probably. Alright. And this thing. Let's see if it'll move. Oh, it looks like, yep, we got one, two. So I got two more. Let's see if she'll come. Probably come around the other side and see if it'll pull up. All right, y'all, it's just about to come out. We're gonna go ahead and take these two out. We'll see the other bolts. All right, let's see. We got two right here. Now, let's see if I can't lift this thing on up. Oh, you know what? We got connectors too. We got a squeeze. Squeeze over here. I'm gonna grab a flathead. Okay, so we're gonna take this flathead and then we're gonna push, pop out, 
then we got one right there pop out one right here pop out and this battery is ready to come out oh there's a hose you see this over here this hose i think it's for cooling or for um what is the hydrogen gas i think it discharges it down through there um oh there is you know what there's a piece you have to walk over here to see it it's like come up right up in there it's a piece you're gonna take you're gonna take a tool like this and you're gonna come right in there and pop that out forgot about that little guy We pop that little piece out, and now we're gonna try and lift this thing on out of here. That's a little heavy, it's not too bad. And that's it. So now we've got it removed. We're gonna take it down the basement, pop it open, and see which cells are bad. Okay, so it looks like we got a nut here. Looks like we had enough there. And we got one over here, one over here. So I'm gonna start zapping these off. There's one. Right. Oh, one there. Surprise the bolts. Now, really, on the one you're doing, there's probably gonna be more bolts, but you should have a good idea. When you put them back together, you're gonna see that there's a lot of bolts, and you're gonna be like, I only wanna put all this back in, and that's what I did. So, now, check this out. These pop off, you can see. See how many nuts and bolts that is? Well, I mean nuts, that's a lot of nuts. So we'll start on this side. Once you take this strip off, it kind of makes it a little bit safer. Again, we're just gonna be really careful. I'm gonna grab an eight and Jordan just catch a couple of these and then we'll flip to the other side. There's one. Another one. Okay, so we got all of the nuts off. Now we're just gonna grab this and at this point it's getting a whole lot safer because now these are not connected. Just gotta remember which side they go to. So now, we got all that disconnected. Now let's get the other side. Oh, you left one on there. All right. So now we got this off. And now we got to take this piece off. But before we do that, we got one more fun. What is it? 50 or 28 or 14 volts. We got one more fun set. It looks like we got to lift it up. We're going to flip it. All right, y'all, and this is our last fun set of bolts. It's eight millimeters. I guess it's like 14 on each side or something like that. And all these gotta come out because we have to be able to separate the cells. Okay, guys, so we took all those bottom bolts out. Now we're gonna pull up, these just pop out. that off. Just throw that off to the side. Then we're gonna come over here, pop this off. Pop this off. And this one. 
And this one right here. Good night. And they're all the same length. Then we got two tins right over here. We got a tin right here. And a tin right over here. And then we'll be able to take this white piece off. There we go. And now we kind of like lift that up and replace the cells we need to replace. Basically, let's say I need to replace this one. What I do, this is the one I replaced last time. I think it was just the one. You just kind of separate them a little bit, slide it, lift up, slide out, and that's it. That's how you replace the cell. Now, the next thing we really need to know is how do we know which cell is bad? And we'll talk about that in this one this time. I just tried to ride it out as long as I could. And I think it said like bank, I think they're banks, bank two, bank three, bank four were weak. Last time I think it was like two banks, but it was just one cell causing two banks. And a bank is per two. So like this would be bank one, bank two, bank three, bank four. And I hope I'm using the right word. I'm gonna double check on that. Get back to you here in a second. But bank five, bank six, so in theory, it would be in these six cells right here, one, two, or three is bad. So we're gonna check these cells. I'm gonna show you exactly how to check them here in just a moment. 